So this week's vlog, gonna be pretty uh, full of fish, I think. Uh, crappie fishing five trips this week. Um, heading up to the lake I always fish. And uh, it's been slowish, you know, 40 to 50 fish days. Um, you know, we're more accustomed to, you know, a little bit more action than that. But uh, like I said, it's been a weird spring. And I think this week it'll pick up. And uh, then after that, I'm done with it. So then we're on the Lakers and hopefully the auto opens up. But that'll be this week, all crappies again and uh, six straight days in the boat. So that's exciting. And uh, let's get at it. Nice. Dude, you did it. What do you think of that one, Odie? That's a nice one, eh, man? Yeah. That's a beauty. Yeah, get it. What do we got, boys? Oh, look at that sucker. Let's get him up in front. That's a good one. It's already open. <laughs> Another live well full of black. My little buddy Odie caught some fish. Uh. <laughs> Great day, guys. Thanks. Thank you, RJ. Beauty. I had a guy ask me the other day if I'm still doing this. Yep, for breakfast. Power breakfast every morning. So day three on the crappies, um, it's starting to get good. We're getting uh, probably, you know, 50, 60 fish a day now. And uh, today might be a challenge, it's blowing like a bugger out here. It seems like a bit of a cold front though. It's supposed to hit 22 degrees today, but go out and try it. They should be shallow. Yesterday I saw some fish actually on beds um, that wanted nothing to do with baits and that's fine. Um, there's still some fish out over that 10 to 12 feet of water over weeds. But I love to fish because if they stack up on that, the bait we've been using a lot, and I got into it last year, is a spy bait. And uh, guys I've been having out, they're loving it, right? Because it actually, you feel like you're fishing. You know, you're not just casting a float around and your float goes down. And yeah, that's great, you're catching fish, but you're casting, you're presenting a bait to a fish instead of just whipping a float around. So the spy bait's been really good. It's, give it a try. I'll, uh, I'll probably get some footage of that later, but. Uh, Pretty cool little bait that catches a lot of crappies, small and big. So uh, don't discount the spy bait. Double header. Oh, yours is nice. Oh, don't lose that one. Oh, that's a nice one. Now we're talking. Right on a school there, right behind you. Like it makes you wonder how many are down there. Try to match his exact height, Dustin. There's a reason why he's catching them. We just gotta figure out what it is. See? Okay, maybe you're just good. See how you paused a little bit that time? Yeah. Let it stay down a bit, and then your line's tightening up. You'll get them almost every time if you let it have it a little bit longer. between 8 and 10 inches. 
separate the front and the big one through the back. I'll show you the big one. What do you got, Alston? I don't think that's a crappie. <laughs> oh, I think I'm stuck at some. Oh, he took in the weeds? Yeah. You gotta pull them out. Yep. Oh, okay. There we go. My guess is. Four pound pike wrapped in weeds. Nope. Oh. Oh, maybe six pound pike wrapped in weeds. All right. Gonna net him, Justin. Help him out so he doesn't lose his jig. Oh, that's not. Oh, and the jig pops out. Yes. Check that out. Ah, uh, put him in the back. Yeah, we'll end up letting him go. Yay! Yay. Aren't you glad you retied? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just let it go now? Yeah, Austin, Justin joined me on a last minute cancellation, and I'd say it worked out for them. Look at these dogs. Mm hmm. Over a hundred for Alson on his own, the dog. He was the big stick today. Justin probably had 50 and I dinked around for probably 40 or 50 myself. So close to 200 legit fish today. Biggest fish was 13 and three quarters, which I believe is that beauty right there. So great day guys, thanks again. We'll see you soon. So the big ones we let go, these ones go to the deep fryer. Tasty treats. So that's a wrap on my crappie guiding, uh, unless I get back out one more time, but I'm not scheduled to, and I probably don't have any days to do it anyways, but save the best for last, almost 200 fish today, which is pretty crazy. Um, they set up real late this year, obviously almost on my last day of, of guiding them, but it was worth it today. The boys had a blast and uh, so do I. I love watching people catch fish, so, and they caught them, they caught them good, so. Right on, uh, tomorrow is Laker opener and I think Birdie and I may do it or may not, I don't know. We're gonna have to maybe wake up at 4 a.m. and see what the weather's like. It's supposed to piss down all day and uh, we'll see. It's been a long week, um, but I'd like to get out for at least the morning tomorrow and uh, give the Lakers a shot. Check out what's going out on Big Rito. If we get out there, hope it's good. It's all I can hope for. Sunday afternoon. It's gonna be a weekly ritual, going fishing. Ariel's filling her face. What do you got there, Kit? Oh, watermelon, watermelon and crap. Watermelon. She's choking on a piece of watermelon. Birdie's got the. Oh, what is that crap? Healthy veggies. That don't give me any of that crap. And Ben is up there catching some fish. The boys caught some fish. Not just the boys. Oh, I know the girls have caught some fish. There's some. There'll be some footage of that too. Don't worry. We'll see. So wrapping up Sunday afternoon and wrapping up this week's vlog. Great afternoon, Ben and Ariel and Birdie. So we'll just run down the scoreboard in the uh, spirit of my buddy Marcus. So in uh, in last place was um, Ariel. She didn't fish a lot. She um, 
she actually doesn't have a license so uh, <laughs> she didn't fish at all so anyways and uh in third place was uh probably ben though we did catch some big ones and um in second place was birdie and uh yeah you know how the rest of it goes but fun afternoon we didn't stay out long but we caught a pile a pile of fish and that'll wrap up this week see you next week